Okay, so we are going to now, after buying, we want to transfer the DBME from this wallet at our back office to another person's back office. So the person has already given us the address of their BNB or their DBME tokens, which is the same address as the BNB because DBME is a token running on the Binance Smart Chain. Okay, so if a token is running on a particular um, network, the token address is the same as the coin's address. Okay, so here we scroll down, we select the, the coin or the token we want to transfer or send out. So we click on the BNB and then we select DBME. In this case, it means we are sending out from our wallet dbme tokens you put you type in the address that has been given to you you paste it in you can't type it because you make a mistake in dealing with the crypto addresses don't type just copy and paste okay so we have copied and pasted the address given to us by um, the owner or by the one we are sending or we are transferring um, the dbme tokens to now we have to enter the amount the amount of tokens we have here is uh, nine million four hundred and eighty two thousand and thirty three but we are transferring nine million tokens to that person so you enter nine million okay so one, two, three. so we are transferring nine million tokens to that person so after entering um, the amount of tokens you want to transfer you scroll up a little and you click on send you put in or you paste your authentication code which i'm going to go back to my authenticator on my phone scroll down to where i have it um, wait for the timer to elapse for new code because it is almost gone copy the code go back to the page paste the code and then click on authenticate which will now transfer the dbme tokens from my wallet to the person i'm sending it to and all can be traced or can be tracked on the blockchain so when we refresh the wallet you will see that the 9 million tokens will be has been deducted okay so we are refreshing the balance and the moment it is confirmed on the blockchain it will be deducted from my wallet so let's refresh again to see okay so uh, it has not been deducted yet from the wallet but we can check on the blockchain on the bsc scan network uh, if the wallet that is supposed to receive has been credited okay uh, so let's go to the bsc scan.com um, bsc scan.com that is the block explorer of the bsc network or blockchain so we input the address that the DBME tokens was sent to we input it in the search bar and click on search okay so when you click on search this is what you see simply click on token holdings after clicking on token holdings you see databank.me this is the balance the person has already uh, the 9 million tokens has not been added yet so let's wait for a while to see and when it reflects in this wallet the transaction hash will be uh, represented here the transaction hash is just like uh, the transaction id uh, the date time and everything is time stamped on the blockchain so let's wait a while and see uh, we can go back to the wallet let's go back to the data bank wallet where the transfer was made from okay so after refreshing the page you see that um, the amount of 
9 million tokens has been deducted from the wallet. So let's go back to the block explorer and then check. Uh, let's refresh this page. And then uh, you should see that the transaction has reflected 40 seconds ago. Okay, so this is it. The transaction has reflected and the total balance of DBME tokens that this wallet holder now has. Um, is the balance is 9,635,831 DBME tokens. So everything is real time on the blockchain. Okay, thank you for your time. If you have any question, uh, just link up and uh, you'll be answered. So this is it, the deduction has already taken place.